All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. Today we got another recommendation from a subscriber and also a sponsored video by the subscriber. We're doing chicken Alfredo. I don't know how big this thing's gonna be, but I can tell you that I got four plus pounds of noodles. I've got two plus pounds of breadsticks and I've got four pounds plus of sauce and three pounds of chicken. So this thing's gonna be pretty big. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. I've already got some water boiling back there and the chicken's on there. We're gonna go ahead and warm it up. Not a whole lot of actual cooking today. I can tell you that I make Alfredo from scratch. This is not that variation because one, it's super, super expensive. And two, there's 9,000 calories in the sauce alone when I make a batch of it. But maybe if I do like a secret video log, maybe I'll disclose that legendary recipe, but I'm not too sure about that. But for now, let's go ahead and put this chicken Alfredo together. So we got our big pot of water here boiling. We got four pounds here dry. Now these are dry. Now you gotta remember that this is dry weight. So when you add water to it, it absorbs. So it makes these about almost double. Not quite double, but almost double. So I figure about four pounds there. We got three pounds of chicken and I got an assorted kinds right here. This is like uh, John Soul Foods and it was on sale and it's delicious. And you really can't go wrong with this kind of chicken because delicious she can use it in anything fajitas and chicken alfredo and chicken wraps and chicken parmesan all kinds of stuff Sticks over here mr pool mm -hmm. i think what we're gonna do is bowl these things up put those around it go full of alfredo we'll be down sounds like a plan we used to make those dominoes or something <laughs> yeah dominoes domino's still have those. they still have yeah. those yeah i feel like we should do a challenge with those like 10 bread bowls in 10 minutes challenge <laughs> That'd be tough. You think? Uh, maybe. The pasta would go down easy. It depends how dry the bread bowl was, I guess. Yeah, I remember. I think the last time we had one of them, remember they had like Alfredo and Parmesan. And I think the fact of the matter was, I think it was that the bread was actually really wet because the sauce was all like. Comment below. Comment below if you think we should do bread bowls from Domino's. Like, a dozen of them. I don't even know how much they weigh. Yeah, I have no idea. They're over a pound? Probably over a pound though. I don't know. We'd have to see. But comment below if you guys want to see that. Like, array of dominoes. Get that. Get that pour. Get that pour in there. Now, if you're not making it, if you're not making it from scratch, which I'm not tonight because it's time consuming because my recipe is pretty intense. I like this kind right here. Honestly, some of the best. I'm gonna go make some pretty good stuff too. There we got four jars of this going in. It's a lot of sound. This pan's a little bigger. Four jars. Mm -hmm. That is an epic sounds ball. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking good. That is a big old pot of noodles, I know that. Snacks. Andy Cole snacking it up. Donuts for dinner. You know, get that pot of noodles. If you could just feel this now, I know there's a lot of water waiting here, but we're gonna find out. Don't get burnt by the steam. Chug, 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 chug. chug. Dude. There's a couple pounds of noodles there. Noodles going in, Mr. Pool. Dude. Dude. That's a bowl of noodles. Right yeah, there. it is. Nobody left behind. Make sure we get that. Oh, nobody left behind. All right, now. Now we can make this work. Yeah, oh, yeah. 12 of these. Oh, got the dominoes going on. Ah, dude, those things are hot.
Alright, so there's one. There's part of it. You want to get in on this, don't you? You know you want to get close. You see that Alfredo and chicken pour. Mm. You never can have enough sauce. It's a lot of sauce in there. Two going in. Look at that, Mr. Pool. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Is that like Salt Bay? Look at that. It's authentic now. I think there's even uh, like grated cheese up in there too. Cheesy. Very. All right, so this is what we're left with. Do we find out how much it weighs? Hold it. Oh. 14.6. 14.6. Almost 15 pounds. Just under, just under 15 pounds. Just we already in... teared out the bowl too, so that's legitimately 14.6 pounds of chicken alfredo and breadsticks. Mm -hmm. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips, we went ahead and put together this massive chicken alfredo and breadstick challenge. It's just under 15 pounds. It's huge and it's super, super hot. Unlike the water inside this bottle from thecoldestwater.com. Make sure you jump over there, use my link below. Get yourself one of these cool bottles. 21 ounces all the way up to a gallon. But we're gonna let this cool down, then we're gonna get into it. All right, so without further ado, the 15 pound chicken alfredo and breadstick challenge. Three, two, one. Alfredo time. Now as with all giant foods, it's steaming hot, but it would take this much pasta six hours to cool down, I believe so, but we're gonna give this thing a go. Hmm, it is good. It's just big and really hot. I got this gigantic forklet to size this thing. It's huge. So much fettuccine. Definitely should let it cool down. The breadsticks are edible. <laughs> Look at steam coming off that. burning my face. Maybe I should have had Andy pull everything around. Oh! You're too busy eating donuts.
So yep, I would say noodles about double. A lot of people like Olive Garden's. Olive Garden approached me for my recipe one time. Not this stuff, my homemade stuff. <coughs> I whipped up a gallon for my mom's birthday this year, had 9,000 calories on it. Just the sows. Anderson already got like a noodle or six during the cooking process. There's a lot of noodles here. Now we need to stir it around and get the heat out of it. Then we can rock and roll. It's like super hot. Super hot, hot, hot. It's definitely hot underneath. Might end up pouring some water on from the coldest water dot com. <clears throat> Trying to get it stirred up and get her to cool down a little bit. Freaking hot. It's when it's so hot you can feel it like going down. One of those kind of burns. Almost 12 minutes in. I've still got a whole lot of pasta. I don't even miss the pool for any applicant or refill in the water. Yeah. <coughs> How's that my nose going? There we go. It's cool-ish one. I think I got my sweatpants on. I need that expansion. Yeah. Cold water's like <coughs> magic. Sitting here eating this blazing hot. <coughs> I 
kind of reminds me of the KFC bowl. That thing did burn my face. Uh. Mm. Comment below whether you like garlic toast or breadstick with your alfredo or any of your favorite pasta dishes. <clears throat> it's so warm. I found it a little soft. Yeah. At the bottom. Ugh, that's actually good. I show Mitch pull how much pasta I still have. I asked him if he wants some. I know Anderson wants some. Here you go. Here's your cameo. And to hook my boy up. One of my other dogs, she got a couple noodles and Marty's on a diet, he's not allowed. <clears throat> he had thyroid issues, I had to put him on meds. He's down seven pounds. Half as much as this weighs. So it's like, I actually had a dog that weighed 19 pounds, it's supposed to weigh like nine. So I'm eating what he lost, twice. <sighs> that's because that's what the consistency is right now. Look at that. <clears throat> Come on, man. Mmm. It tastes like gold. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I love chicken alfredo, but too much of a good thing. Still too much. <sighs> That's a lot. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving feels and just eat like one too many slices of the pie. That's how competitive eaters feel every single time they do this for a long period of time. Yeah, like five more scoops. Yeah, about three more scoops for the space. Seven thirty-four. Ugh. All right, so there you have it. A little over thirty-seven minutes to eat fifteen pounds of Alfredo fettuccine and breadsticks. I'm not gonna lie, that was a tough one. It seemed like it was just like stacking up in there, really horrible. Whew. I think like two full cups of water and half of this to get it down to, I don't know, 20 some pounds. I don't recommend anybody try that. That was, that was tough. That was a tough one. Usually pasta is easy to eat, but it was, I think I needed more salve. But anyways, if you liked this video, which I hope you did, smash that like button for me. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out tremendously. 
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you would consider subscribing. That way you can come back and watch me do other stupid and crazy things to myself or you guys' entertainment. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. T-shirts and decals are available. Information below. Make sure you grab yourself one of those. They're on sale right now until the first of the year. Fifteen dollars, and that's shipped. Where else can you get a T-shirt? Fifteen bucks. Nowhere. That's where. Unless you go to like Walmart or Dollar Store or something. But they don't have these shirts. I promise you. <clears throat> but like always. Eat Alfredo. Take it easy. <laughs> Dude, I can't even hold it. Oh. oh, dude, it's so heavy.